Hello and welcome to Car News, your international motor magazine. This month we are coming to you from sunny Spain, where Kia presents the new Picanto. The model year 2011 has a whole host of new things in store. The design of the car in particular is much sportier, more elegant. But before we take a closer look at the Kia, let's head even further south to the Isle of Tenerife, where Mercedes recently allowed us to test drive the new C-Class. Mercedes-Benz brings us two new cars at once. For the first time, a C-Class sedan and its station wagon sibling head out for launch at the same time thus setting themselves apart from the third member in the C-Class family, the Coupe, which is set to debut in June. Nor will it be alone either, as it comes out together with the AMG version. In the case of the C-Class, we are talking about a large-scale model treatment with more than 2,000 parts having been modified. The smaller portion of the new components went into the making of the body. The new C-Class is definitely a C-Class though, but one which bears the new brand identity of Mercedes-Benz much more evidently. It has much more striking features with a more sculpted face. The model treatment for the C-Class goes very deep. 2,000 parts are different. You can see that on the outside much more expressive. Even the basic equipment gives the car a very determined look. Also on the inside, we have made many changes and spiced it up a bit. We offer equipment lines with avant-garde and elegance, which express each theme extremely well. Especially the issue of safety is one stressed highly by the company from Stuttgart. There are all kinds of new assistance systems on board, which you'd normally only find in higher classes of cars. We have 10 new assistance systems, already familiar from the S and E class. I'd like to draw particular attention to the active assistance systems like the lane keeping assistant and the blind spot control, which lead you back to the right lane in dangerous situations. Here we have succeeded in making things easier for the driver and driving in general more safe. At the front you'll recognize the model treatment right away. The changes are actually not minor at all. Let's take a look at the front of the vehicle. You'll see a lot has happened here. The car is much stronger compared to the former model, more focused. Totally new lamps, a brand new bumper, a brand new face that makes the car look very competent, powerful and dynamic. From a side angle, it's the typical C-Class shoulder line that lends the car its dynamic appearance. At the back, its kinship with the C-Class family is very clear. Mercedes has placed special emphasis on the interior of the freshened version, improving it even more. I think we are truly where a C-Class belongs, very easy to recognize as a Mercedes, very sporty, very youthful. A three-tube instrument with metal tubes to simply show once again how much pleasure there is in driving. The new integrated command system, the display which still plays a dominant role, the instrument is the dominant part. Then something nice to look at. Quality appeal means there's also variety of surfaces. If you keep everything in black, the surface can be as great as you want, but it will never have the right quality appeal. That's why we have a decorative piece here in brushed aluminum, brushed lengthwise to further emphasize the width of the car. With this little artistic touch, we add more optical breadth to the car. The surface is completely new, very leathery, very authentic, very sophisticated, especially in comparison with the former model, where the emphasis was more on technical details. Here we see a direction, a more traditional one, one the Mercedes customer actually expects.
and the expectations of the customers are even exceeded in the case of the station wagon version, sporty and dynamic, as befitting of a C-Class family car. Here too, only subtle changes were made at the rear. The seats can be folded down almost into a flat surface. Here you have room for up to 1,500 liters of luggage. Beneath the smarter looking body is where we discover the most significant changes, stronger and much more fuel efficient engines. All of the engines in the C-Class are coupled with a 7-speed automatic transmission and only the C300 CDI 4MATIC does not come equipped with a start-stop system, both responsible for enhancing fuel economy by up to 31% over the previous model in fact. The gasoline engines have a power output ranging from 156 to 306 horsepower in the C356 cylinder model. As for the diesel engines, they start at 120 horsepower and go up to 231 horsepower generated by the six cylinder in the C300 CDI with all wheel drive. The 120 horsepower diesel unit is the most efficient, making due with 4.8 liters per 100 kilometers. Both versions of the new C-Class are already out in showrooms with entry-level pricing around 32,700 euros. With the new Picanto, it's the styling in particular that has undergone the greatest changes. The new generation is not as cute looking as the former model. It's much more masculine and a bit on the macho side. It almost has an ominous look to it, thanks to Kia's signature double trapezoidal structure and the so-called tiger nose. Ominous, that's also how you could describe the Toyota Land Cruiser as it tackles the off-road terrain in Bad Kissingen. A legend celebrates its birthday. For 60 years, the Toyota Land Cruiser has stood for reliability, durability, and unconditional off-road capabilities in more than 170 countries. In one out of two TV shows featuring remote regions of the world or spectacular natural occurrences, you'll see this Japanese SUV driving through the picture. It all began back in 1951 with the Toyota Jeep BJ, which did not lead to the new Land Cruiser for another three years. Since its official introduction, the off-road vehicle has been able to win over more than five million customers. The Land Cruiser was introduced in 1951, and today, in the year 2011, it still has its same original virtues. For to turn 60, you have to be able to do quite a lot, meaning getting from point A to point B without thinking about the path in between. Generations later, it's time for the current version, the Land Cruiser 150, starting in model year 2011 with its tried-and-true 3-liter D4D turbo diesel now generating 190 horsepower and meeting the Euro 5 exhaust standards. Despite the additional 17 horses of power, the fuel economy and the CO2 emissions have remained unchanged. The J15, as it's also called, boasts particularly comprehensive and technically sophisticated on- and off-road safety features, which allow the driver to master even the most challenging of terrain. Besides the conventional ABS, the Land Cruiser also is equipped with a multi-terrain ABS system, assuring stability and optimum braking even under the most diverse off-road conditions. Its active traction control further enhances the permanent all-wheel drive by kicking in the braking and engine control to distribute the torque to all four wheels depending on the terrain. That automatically gives you maximum traction and stable takeoffs even on wet surfaces, muddy trails or in the sand. Especially helpful on inclines is crawl control, which automatically controls the throttle input and brake pressure. No more pressing of pedals, so the driver can concentrate completely on steering the vehicle. What makes it so special is that, like its predecessors, it gets along fine on almost any terrain. What makes it even more special is that it gives you a comfortable ride on regular roads, something you would expect from a passenger car. That means it can master the toughest of off-road challenges, but also is a very comfortable vehicle to travel in. 
When you look at the Land Cruiser, you can see it stands for solidity, durability, and power. The front bumper with its integrated fog lights and the short overhang underscores the powerful appearance and the unlimited off-road capabilities of the vehicle. Inside, it's much like any passenger car with all the creature comforts like automatic climate control and a navigation system. The 3-liter diesel engine inside the J15 Land Cruiser 60th Anniversary Edition delivers 190 horsepower. At the anniversary celebration, Toyota proved that even the older models still have a lot going for them without having to bypass any of the obstacles in their way. Legendary Land Cruisers like the FJ40 built from 1960 or the BJ42 showed that even the granddaddies of off-road vehicles don't have to be put out to pasture but can keep up quite well with the current day model, even if not quite as comfortable or fast. The new Toyota Land Cruiser is available in four trim lines. Pricing starts for the three-door model with its six-speed manual transmission at 37,450 euros, ending at 64,800 for the five-door, five-speed automatic TEC model. Even though the Picanto measures only 3 meters 50 in length, the interior boasts plenty of storage space. The trunk, on the other hand, is somewhat small, holding only 127 liters. At least with the rear seats folded down, that can be extended to nearly 900 liters. A special highlight in the cockpit? The sporty steering wheel, which you'll also see in the Kia Rio. The base version comes standard with features like central locking, power steering, and power windows. Now, power windows are something the Mazda MX-5 only needs needs up front. We tested the special edition model, the Kaminari, for you. Mazda has launched the special edition MX-5 Kaminari. For the classic Roadster with the fabric top and the Roadster Coupe with its electric folding roof, the limited 900 production units boast some exclusive equipment options, making open-top driving even more appealing. The special edition of the smiling little sports car is based on the center line trim level with a technical package including automatic climate control, speed control and a hands-free Bluetooth system. The MX-5 Kaminari is available in three colors, Pluto Silver, Anubis Black Metallic and Uranus Grey Metallic. Kaminari, what does that word mean exactly? Head of the PR division at Mazda, Jochen Munzinger, explains. Kaminari? Kaminari is Japanese for thunder. We have the tradition of giving the special edition models, especially the MX-5 models, a Japanese name. And as I said, Kaminari stands for thunder. Not to say you are supposed to drive the car only in a thunderstorm. It's a roadster people like to drive with the top down, even in weather like we have right now. The Kaminari is not the first special edition of the MX-5. 
Ja, MX-5 und Sondermodelle, das hat auch eine sehr gute Tradition. Die MX-5 und Special Editions haben eine lange Tradition mit uns. Time and again, we have launched unique special editions. The latest creation is the MX-5 Kaminari, which you see here as a 1.8-liter car with 126 horsepower. It has very attractive pricing, a bit more than 23,000 euros, but very well equipped, among other things with nice gray leather seats, beautiful alloy wheels, and chrome accents. All in all, a very nice package we are offering. The number of units is limited, giving it a certain independence and exclusivity. On the outside, the special edition sets itself apart from the regular production model with its chrome accents on the front grille, the door handles, and the headlights. The new MX-5 comes with 17-inch alloy wheels. A strut brace enhances the torsional stiffness of the body, leading to dynamic and more direct responsiveness, especially around curves. The safety equipment on the Roadster includes ABS, front and side airbags, and dynamic stability control with a traction control system. The engine hood is made of aluminum for optimized pedestrian impact protection. For more than 20 years, the MX-5 has been on the European market and has been built more than 900,000 times. In its current third generation, the Roadster has long since established itself around the world as an extremely successful car. The Special Edition features elegant gray leather seats. Mazda has also applied the color to the inside of the doors. On cool spring days, there's a five-phase heating system to keep the seats just the right temperature. Both body variants of the MX-5, the soft top and the hard top coupe, have a 1.8-liter MZR gasoline engine inside, which delivers 126 horsepower. The combined fuel consumption is reported to be 7.1 liters per 100 kilometers. CO2 emissions at 167 grams per kilometer. The Roadster sells for 23,940 euros, the coupe 25,090. In both cases, the customer saves 1,300 euros. The engines powering the new generation Picanto are a 69 horsepower 1 liter gasoline unit, a 1 liter LPG version with 82 horsepower, and an 89 horsepower 1.2 liter gasoline engine. The 69 horsepower unit only requires 4.1 liters to go 100 kilometers. Fuel efficient vehicles were also on display at this year's New York Auto Show. We put together the highlights for you. A motor show in the Big Apple, the 2011 New York International Auto Show had many world premieres, U.S. debuts, and other highlights in store for visitors once again. More than 30 car makers presented their new products distributed throughout four huge exhibition halls. Our first world premiere is at the Kia stand. On center stage, the facelifted Kia Soul, together with the notchback version of the Kia Rio. The Kia Soul now comes with stronger engines and various design changes. The four-door sedan of the Rio is tailored to the needs of the American market. On the eve of the show, Lexus took the wraps off the new LFGH concept, which was later on display at the Japanese stand. The concept shows how Lexus envisions a sporty touring sedan of the future. In the limelight at the U.S. subsidiary Scion, the FRS concept, a further development of the Toyota FT86 concept. The production version is set for launch in the U.S. in 2012. Subaru presented the fourth generation of the Impreza, scheduled to hit the German market mid-January of next year. 
In the U.S., the compact model will be offered before that as a four- and five-door car. The German car makers also brought products full of progress. Mercedes-Benz celebrated the North American debut of the SLK, together with the world's first showing of the C63 AMG Coupe. A special highlight, the Concept A-Class, which was also on display at the same time in Shanghai. It's another world premiere at the BMW stand. The BMW Z4 is planned for late 2011 to go by the name of Z4 S-Drive 28i, equipped with a four-cylinder turbocharged engine. Already familiar in Europe, but still a newcomer in the U.S., Porsche presents its Panamera S Hybrid for the first time to the American public. Also on show at the same time in China, the VW New Beetle. The Beetle's successor is for the most part based on the Golf 6. Another new generation car was unveiled by Honda. The Honda Civic is now headed for its ninth generation. Definitely one of the biggest highlights at the New York show was the performance by KISS at the mini stand. The rock group and car company have teamed up as part of a campaign to advertise the Mini Countryman. The New York Auto Show. Each year it's accompanied by the World Car of the Year Awards. Car makers vie for the title in four different categories. In the category World Green Car, it was the Chevrolet Volt that beat all the competitors. The prize for the World Car Design of the Year went to Aston Martin for the repeat, winning against the Alfa Romeo Giulietta and the Ferrari 458 Italia. The powerful Ferrari captured the next trophy as the number one world performance car. Its German rivals, the Mercedes SLS AMG and the Porsche 911 Turbo, went home with empty hands. The most distinguished prize, the World Car of the Year Award, went to the little electric car, the Nissan Leaf, which, by the way, already was selected as the European Car of the Year. The New York International Auto Show 2011 is chock full of new products and exclusive looks into the future of automotive mobility. The new, Picanto is the new Picanto comes standard with ESC stability control, which is combined with traction control and a brake assistant. Among the passive safety equipment, there are front and side airbags for the driver and front seat passenger. Customers also get a long seven-year warranty, which Kia offers for every new car that is registered. Last month, the same time car makers were showing off their new creations in New York, the Chinese staged their own auto show in Shanghai. And we didn't miss the opportunity of gathering the main highlights for you. The 2011 Auto Shanghai opens its doors to visitors from around the world. The Chinese market is one of the most important markets, especially for the German car makers and they bedazzled the crowds with some amazing displays. Mercedes-Benz gives the visitors a look at the next generation of the A-Class with its Concept A. With a long hood, flat silhouette, and slim window graphics, the proportions of the Concept A-Class exude dynamics. The Concept has only little in common with its predecessors. In the spring of 2012, we'll discover just how much of this concept has been incorporated into the production model. Audi fills the gap beneath the Q5 with the Q3. It's very similar to its bigger siblings, yet still retains the look of a coupe. This lifestyle vehicle will go up against the BMW X1 and the VW Tiguan starting in June, with pricing in Germany just below 30,000 euros. The Audi A3, on the other hand, is a car that actually is already familiar to most, except for its plug-in hybrid drive system, which now puts this compact into the family along with the other e-tron vehicles. Its fuel economy is reported to be only 2.2 liters per 100 kilometers. Porsche presents the strongest model in the Panamera series. The Turbo S relies on a 4.8 liter V8 to generate 550 horsepower thanks to its bi-turbo charging. 
Volkswagen calls its latest edition of the VW Bug simply the Beetle. 73 years after the birth of the original Beetle, its grandson is now flatter, wider, and longer than the recently retired new Beetle. It still has those good old Beetle jeans with the big bulging round eyes. Look for it out on the road this fall. That's when you might also see the China Passat. It's based on the American model and boasts prestige and comfort. Prices start at 218,000 yuan, equivalent to around 25,000 euros. BMW showcases the 6 Series Coupe, now sportier and more luxurious than before. A 4.4-liter bi-turbo is at the core of the powerful BMW M5. Here only as a concept vehicle, but in the fall, it'll be out to rival the Mercedes E63 AMG and the Audi RS6. Mini and Rolls-Royce have teamed up to develop the Mini inspired by Goodwood. A blend of the best of both brands, it's the interior in particular, with its wood and leather accents that make it so luxurious. Citroen has the latest member of its DS family on display, the DS5. It will be the first vehicle made by the French company equipped with a diesel full hybrid technology. Seat is at the Chinese Motor Show for the first time, here on center stage, the Ibiza. Concept Universe is the name of the new study presented by Volvo. The Swedes came to Shanghai to test the reactions of the visitors, whether the 4-meter 94 long car has a chance at making it into large-scale production. Jaguar once again presents its gas turbine race car, the CX-75. Fisker is yet another company with an eco-friendly car, the Karma EV. Toyota's G's rights concept also has a low-emission drive system. The Chinese car makers, for the most part, have less copies and cars built under license than a couple of years ago. They now have their own ideas. We bid farewell from Shanghai with an open-top truck concept from Scania. The new generation of the Picanto will be available starting this month. The LPG version will follow this summer. The three-door, one-liter model sells for 8,960 euros. That brings us to the close of our latest edition of Car News. Hope you enjoyed the show. See you next time. Till then, all the best.